what's Miko? Who, who did I my? Who? I hate Miko is the tag. Miko's oh. in chat like, yo, what did? Who? Who? Why do y'all hate me? Why do y'all dislike all this love I'm giving? I'll ask him after. We'll do a we'll do a post match investigation on. Absolutely. Why are we hitting Miko? Absolutely, we need that. <laughs> well, I, I need answers. <laughs> if you like Miko, you need to see it there. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Apparently, Miko is not a, not someone I would associate with. You know what? Well, you know we're gonna find out what orphans he hurt in game one or after game two. After game two, yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, Pokemon Stadium two. That's just that should just be the competitive stage. And I was actually shocked. Cirque showed me at a. Uh, at Festival of Fights, so this is not an even stage at all. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's actually a very unbalanced stage, and it's a lot of characters' best stages. Yeah. But I like to reference Smash 4 Smashville. It's uh -huh. a stage where it was very janky, and it was very one-sided, but everyone had so much jank, it became their usual stage. You know what? And jank, I want to say, is kind of the word for ultimate. Yeah. 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 Jank and cheese, for jank sure. Jank and cheese. Yeah. And uh, next is starting off here. No jank or cheese, just Falco. Yeah. Um. yeah. <laughs> a, very, a, very, a very pure, pure character. Well, mostly pure. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure what uh, Snake's match experience next has had, but apparently he has experience on catching these landings. Absolutely. That Crazy back taking that. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's oh. see MG3 on the ledge trap here. Pulls a grenade. I like it. And setting up a C4 there as well, maybe trying to catch a dash back. Mm -hmm. MG3 now has to close out the stock. I mean, as soon as Nexus gets one more hit against a character like Snake, it's so big. You, you yeah. get big combos. Absolutely. It's a cutscene. It's everybody's favorite. And uh, doesn't go for the grab. Goes for the, the, the fair and looks for the, the grab. Isn't able to find it, but uh, will he be able to get back? Ooh. No, not over that Nikita taking the stock. Yeah, that was really, really good there. That was a very good, well-spaced side piece so that he can get over the shine. Mm -hmm. uh, MG3 looking pretty good there on the edge guards. I feel like if uh, Nexus can continue the juggles and MG3 continues the edge guard, we're going to have a very competitive set. Definitely, definitely. And that's what you want to see. Definitely want to see. MG3 going really high there. I like that side beat from Nexus as well. Uh, let's see what MG3 can kind of cook up here with a little bit of rage and some projectiles. Yeah, Ooh, and once again, the Nexus. Gosh. That's the Nexus. Yeah, that that short hop side B to the uh, back air. Yeah, that's honestly it's a Nexus, but that's every Falco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> any Falco worth their marriage is, is gonna be uh, throwing that out. Ooh, all right. Hit him, Gotta get back. Oh, this is rough now. Yeah. Dude, what do you do here against Nikita? Nikita. Oh, and didn't tech that, so uh, has to get back, oh, but the down wow. smash is gonna take it. Great ledge trapping though by uh, MG3. Damn, that was amazing stuff from MG3. I'm very impressed by his ability to kind of get these flowchart edge guards with the Nikita. Very important. You get the edge guards on Falco because mm -hmm. if you don't get a kill like that, it's gonna be really, really rough. Absolutely. Um, pretty competitive so far this game number one. Ooh, Ooh and calling air. that out with the back air, yeah. yeah. A little bit misspaced, but uh, I like I, I like the the verb. <laughs> Absolutely, I really like uh, his um, usage of low profile MG3 here. Yeah. Um, you know, to get under the lasers, which is something Nexus relies on a lot to, to develop conditioning. Ooh, Ooh, and great turnaround grab. That was beautiful. Yeah, it, it, like it looked like he was gonna go for a back air, gets a tomahawk there, but doesn't find the kill off of the up throw up air, and no punish from Nexus. That's a big drop. Yeah, no. But, uh, thank goodness he got. Got that down tilt to take the stock because uh, the more more time you let Snake with Rage go on, the more dangerous it gets to you, especially a character as light as Nexus. But good stuff closing that that uh, that uh, game out. It's super uh, fun to watch that like um, situation where Snake just like he's constantly in the disadvantage. He's not doing very well, but then what happens is just like you get one explosive trade, and mm -hmm. then now we're even percent, yep. and then you got the stock. It's kind of like a heavy. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, Snake is for sure. Heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like. You don't really think about it as that, but it no. definitely is. You yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. No, he's a he's a, a, a silent uh, hitter, and of course, trading damage is, is kind of the name of Snake's game for sure. Because these, that's a frame one option for uh, pulling grenades, and uh, he will pull many of them in this set. Ooh, MG3 setting by Nikita there to cover a low, or sorry, a C4 there to cover a low edge guard. Mm -hmm. I really like the aggression off stage, but get punished Ooh, but there. Oh, Nexus is so good wow. at finding those down airs. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, you actually have to hit a little bit of his uh, hitbox and just not the, the recovery tool, the cypher, yeah. or, or the spike actually won't go through. So great great awareness by Nexus. I was just talking to him about the activity of down air. It's, a, it's a active for 20 frames, and the spike mm. hitbox is active for five. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. So you can get some really crazy down airs, especially on a move like cypher that it kind of extends the hitbox and makes it last out there. Yeah. I see four there, but dude, but Nexus oh, is yeah. all over MG3 here. Yeah, he is in his back. When he wave landed, you know that that's the that's the smash special. As soon oh. as they wave land, they're they're They're, they're cooking. feeling themselves, Absolutely. and you need to stop the momentum, but it's so hard to sometimes against Nexus and his Falco. Yeah. But MG3 getting a four tilt, uh, expecting the Nikita as once again gets to the side view, but the reverse hitbox. Very unfortunate for MG3. Yeah, just a bit, and it's uh, it's giving him uh, maybe a second chance at life, but not if Nexus catches you not teching, for sure. 
Yeah, he's looking to extend these combos as, I mean, as, as long as Falco's tail feather is, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the longer, yeah, exactly. Just the long combos. Well, oh, isn't, that is, but. Yeah, isn't able to get back from that. Yeah, very important to find that Nikita edge guard once again. Where the mat, where he's making his money is these edge guards for sure. Absolutely. And Nexus is making his money everywhere else on the stage. I mean, these up tilt, these yeah, oh. so good mix ups on mix ups. Yes, yes, and shout out that air dodge because uh, his ass was grass. <laughs> yeah, that those air dodges are so scary. Yeah. Down air doesn't find the back air, but oh my oh, god, what firm. a wave bounce! Look at these these B reverses and stuff. They're looking very good. The jab, nope. Oh, or the full. Oh, oh man, oh. This is scary. Crouch cancel on the down tilt, able to make him survive a little bit longer. Ooh, and up. this might kill. Yeah, the up air is going to take it. Good stuff on Nexus. Very, uh, very dominant. Dominant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we can hear John's blessings. Blessing. Smash tradition. Love that. Love that. Uh, Nexus, 2 -oh. Nexus saying, you haven't played since MSM. Yeah. So. Beautiful stuff. And some pretty good matches so far. I mean, that was winners round three. This, I'd say this is 